on taking. I didn't write that. I can't take credit for that. That's outstanding work. The 23-year-old Yankee diehard Christian Lopez there giving up Derek Jeter's 3,000th hit baseball and giving up a big payday. The Yankees giving Lopez luxury seats for the rest of the season, this season, and a bunch of memorabilia. That's balls, bats, jerseys, all valued at 32000 bucks. But reports say the IRS might hit him with a tax bill for the tickets up to thirteen grand. My next guest saying the IRS has better things to do. Robert Gaynor is a partner at accounting firm Gaynor, Grossbach, and Gaynor. Robert, this really isn't the IRS's fault, though, the fact that they're just following the letter of the law here, right? Exactly. You know, sometimes uh, parts of the IRS code can be as hard to understand as the infield fly rule. Correct, uh, yes. As soon as uh, Christian Lopez caught that ball and didn't immediately throw it back onto the field, he had tax issues. Mm -hmm. Certainly, as soon as he exchanged that ball with the Yankee organization in return for goods and services, he certainly had a tax but issue. But he's going to be taxed as if this is income, right? This, well, however much they value this package of tickets and baseballs and bats, that's not income. That, well, no, it, it will be taxed as income, and the reason that it's income is because under the IRS rules, everything that you receive is income unless the IRS says it's not income. So, for instance, if you get a gift from somebody that's disinterested, detached, generosity, they're not giving it to you in exchange for anything, mm -hmm. that's not income to you. But any time you receive anything else under the IRS theory that's called accession to wealth, anything that increases your net worth is income to you. Does the IRS have any leeway here? Can they look at case-by-case case individual situations and say, look, this is an individual who admittedly is paying off his student loans, he doesn't make a lot of money, you know, he does a good deed, and now all of a sudden he owes $13,000? The IRS has tremendous leeway in enforcing the tax laws. Uh, prior to Mark McGuire hitting his 70th oh, yeah. home run, the IRS came out beforehand and said whoever catches that ball, as soon as they catch it, they have income, whether they give it away for services or not. The IRS backpedaled on that, and when there was such an outrage from all of the yeah. uh, baseball fans in the country. How common is it for, I know this isn't a common situation, a 3,000 hit baseball, but how common is it for the giver of the gift to also pay the taxes in this particular case? It's yeah. very common. It's very common. When okay. Oprah Winfrey gave away cars to all the members of her audience, a lot of them were surprised that they had to uh, write a check to the IRS for possibly seven, eight $8,000, depending on your tax bracket. Beautiful. I tell you what, thank you so much, Robert. Good to see you. Great information. Thank you, Chris. Uh, and Robert is a Yankee fan. Uh, full disclosure. All right, stop whining out there and start hiring.